Okay, hello and good day. This is day number 11. We're into the last three days of the basic section of this. So today we will be practicing from closer to the net. Tomorrow we'll be practicing only from the other half, so further away, obviously. So we'll be practicing hitting half court and closer today and then half court and further uh, tomorrow. And that'll be kind of the wrap up getting out of basic and once you can start hitting those more consistently then we'll be moving into intermediate um as for these last three days i'd say to set some sort of a personal goal for yourself um say you want to hit x amount of shots out of x and you won't start working on the other stuff until then i think it's good to set these little goals for yourself um and we're going to talk more about that later but for now let's get warmed up if you're already warm feel free to jump ahead but we are just gonna vibe out and kind of get warmed up together here. I like to just flip around the pitch. You guys know the drill so far. Hope everyone's been doing well, maybe doing well in ranked. Personally, I've been on a bit of a slump in 1v1s. I think I'm on like a 10 or something game losing streak. Um, it's been pretty rough, but we will probably get some Ws today or the next day. It doesn't really matter. It's all learning experience anyway. That's kind of what we want to do. Um, and you just gotta remember that sometimes shit doesn't work out. That's that, you know? So, if anyone else is slumping out there, just remember it's gonna reset. You're learning regardless, and it's probably because you're working on stuff. You're trying to learn, and while you're in the process of learning, you're bound to make mistakes, and it happens. So yeah. Remember to be chilling in a good mood, atmosphere, environment, you know, just make sure you're well before you want to do like training like this. I'm feeling a little warm, I guess, today, but not super warm. Um, yeah, feels weird today. I haven't really woke up enough. I'm probably going to have to have a cup of coffee or something before I actually start my ranked grind for the day. I might not even do ranked today. I might just do casuals and kind of work on mechanics I want to work on for the day. We've got a lot of recording in store for today for this channel and my let's play channel and uh yeah so busy day for me hope everyone has been having a good day and isn't super busy i'm excited to start getting into some of the uh more intermediate sort of uh air dribbling stuff we've covered like pretty much all the basics and just really been focusing on consistency and working on different angles, working on as much as we can. Probably start getting into some harder stuff here soon. It's gonna be real exciting. We're gonna be doing lots of um, like controlling from different setups, different spots. Some you might have to fly up into the air, catch the ball, and then air dribble it from there. You know, I'm, I'm excited to try and make some of these training packs and stuff like that. It should be should be good, should be interesting, and uh, it should be a really good journey for all of us. Let me know down below if you have any personal goals for yourself or what your goals for today's uh, shot consistency is gonna be. I think I'm gonna go for maybe like 20, 20 shots in a row uh, from various angles and uh, just see how that feels. I didn't think I was gonna make a training pack for today's video because we're just gonna be chilling on like this side of the field. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty warm. If you're not feeling warm, feel free to keep getting warmed up. But I, I don't think I don't think we'll make a training pack because this is gonna be kind of uh, you getting random setups and making sure that you're challenging yourself. And you're consistent and you can control the ball into the net from this half of the field so let's start getting into it today we're just going to be focusing on anything on the other side of this line whatever map you're on you'll be able to know if you're on the half or not and just go for different shots off of this make sure you're setting it up for yourself making sure you're you know kind of uh pushing yourself making it a little bit awkward and you want to go for 10, 10 of these, at least, I'd say. Uh, if you still struggle, maybe just a little bit more. Go for these different angles. Go for different setups. Uh, as long as you're pushing yourself, that's that's the important part. And 
I personally think I'm going to want to do 20. Um, because that's just kind of where I am, I think, currently with my abilities in this journey. Try and get a reset here. Yeah, so just, just focus on the side of the net for today. Work on different angles for setups. Maybe work on air roll or not air roll. Air roll left, air roll right. But go ahead, set yourself a goal. And we're just going to be working on this together. Working on this real close to net consistency. It's like, a, it's a different type of shot. I feel like the further away, it's harder, but... I feel like some of these close angles, once you get right up to the net, are really hard as well because the angle just gets a little bit tighter, you know? So, make sure you're doing both sides. Make sure your energy's flowing up into the ball with your car. And just make sure you're controlling it. And again, don't worry if you're still struggling here. This takes a lot of time and practice and probably more than just what are going to be in these videos. You'll have to go outside of these and keep working on stuff on your own. And just remember everyone progresses differently, different speeds for different things. It just kind of depends on how you progress. So don't be embarrassed or don't worry or don't be flustered if you can't get it right away. You know, that's just part of the journey. Remember not to go past half court today. This is kind of the challenge, is just making sure. Getting it. Might even put a little counter on screen for this video for myself. I don't know. Pretty bad at counting while like keeping up dialogue, so I might not get it. <laughs> we'll see. Regardless, that's my goal for the day. I do a lot of uh, just practice outside of these videos, obviously. I try and spend at least three hours a day in Rocket League doing training or ranked, just casuals. to pretend like there's someone in the net trying to defend your shots too. They can make it a little bit more uh, entertaining for the brain. Tell yourself they're here in the net and I've got to try and hit it around them. Let me know down in the comments how this has been going for you. And if you have any feedback at all, definitely. This is one of my first series like this. Uh, I've been enjoying it, so we might actually end up doing this for like another mechanic. Um, I haven't really decided just yet what mechanic that would be, but. I didn't really see any series like this on YouTube with a sort of like train along with me sort of vibe. So I've been kind of wanting to and meaning to do this for a while now. And I'm glad that I finally got around to it. Uh, it's kind of a time crunch for me right now because by the time I'm posting these, I think I will be in the process of moving or just finished moving. So hopefully there are no issues with getting these all recorded. We've been doing this like every day. Um, yeah, it's, it has been quite the grind between editing. And I have another series coming out um, on my other channel, so it's just been a ton of recording for me lately.
gonna get this one set up kind of in a different way. Good to work on different angles. Oh, that's what I try and do every now and again. <laughs> Working on flip resets every now and again. But, uh, I need to. Remember to be following the speed, rather in your boost. Any more advanced players, you guys can definitely turn off your boost now. Probably be best for you anyway. That way it's not too easy with a limited boost. I probably won't start working on turning off boost completely till we're well into the advanced area, or if not further, we'll see. So have the whole intermediate section to go through. I'm thinking it's probably going to be like about eight episodes or so, maybe. Let's see, the advanced section will only be a few kind of uh, few episodes. I'm thinking like four or so. I definitely feel like I've seen a uh, improvement on my air dribbles from this other wall here. Normally I'm not very great at it, but I feel like I've started to see a uh, the improvement. Feels good. Maybe I'll start slowly trying to implement air dribbles and such into... Um, I just still feel like they're kind of risky. Maybe if I'm like up, or if they're in a bad position to save it. Uh, and some stuff I've been trying to work on with that, like air dribble bumps and stuff. Probably a whole another video that we might work on here with these, just like uh, how to set them up and how to like keep an eye out for them. I think they're really helpful if you can. Uh, air dribble bumps successfully. You just got to be really good at reading an opponent, and that's kind of something that and I have to just get used to with time. 
or just also reading the the path of the balls is going to be taken. Because if you just get in the way of that, you should be able to bump them. But regardless, just make sure you're working on your setup. You want it to be as consistent as possible, because the more consistent you are, just the more often you're going to be able to hit it, obviously. But the more you work on that consistency, the quicker you're going to be able to set it up in the future as well. If you start getting into limiting boost, you want to make sure you can get your setup done quickly and with like limited amount of boost because you're going to want to save the rest of your boost to be able to make sure you can carry the ball. So far pretty good. I don't think I've hit my goal of 20 in a row. I'm finding it very difficult to count and talk and hold two separate things, but hopefully we hopefully we hit around 20 in a row. And I do recommend you doing your own setups and not doing a training pack for this, because we're looking for natural sort of air dribble setups. Um, ones that would probably happen in game. You can start from the other half of the field if you want to try and get a better angle once you get into the other half. As long as you're setting it up past that half field line, you should be good. find the most setups probably are going to happen from that middle boost because what happens is if someone gets the free ball they'll take it towards this middle boost try and grab it and then come up so that's a good way to practice as well so it's the most likely place for someone to try and hit the ball for a setup i feel like unless they're really confident in having uh, a little bit of boost compared to how much grab that big hundred Thanks again for all the continued support guys, it really does mean a lot. I appreciate those of you that watch these videos and uh, I really do hope it's helping a few of you or maybe inspiring a few of you to improve on and just get better at your aerials in general. I think I think with any mechanic there's, there's room for improvement, there's room for consistency. Always, there's always something else you can work on. It's also great for just getting used to what it might feel like in a game to have to set up an air dribble on your own because you're going to have to get your touches right. You're going to have to get control to a certain side of the field, whether it be the left or the right, and then make sure you don't hit the ball you know, too hard away from yourself. It's 
and he won't be able to score it. You guys are probably tired of hearing me say you need to do your own status, but my god, it's really important. The more and more you do setups, the better and better you'll get with them. It's just that consistency that you need. Alright, I think I'm going to start uh, trying to count my shots here. And feel free to keep playing along. I'm going to go for 20, and uh, I'm just going to kind of focus in on that. So there won't be much talking, probably. And then we'll just taper off to the end of the video. Enjoy, guys.